Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in betweens. Hello, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Computer, and. Oh, wow. Can almost see it from there. Yeah, we have a Dyson Sphere. And we have acid coming in from an unlimited source as well. It's quite far away, though. Yeah. No, wait, that's not it. Achille, I believe, is... Yes, sulfuric acid, yes. We do have some unipolar magnets coming in from this black hole over here as well. And I did manage to get uh, Achille... No, not tell him. There you are. Annoying how all of the other labels just disappear the moment you click something. But, uh, yeah, right-clicking will get that menu away. But yes, um, Achille, I did manage to get everything working between these two. It um, took about half an hour to get there and back again with enough uh, power to get it all working. And speaking of which, I'm not really feeling like I'm getting enough out of this Dyson shell we have here. I'm also not fond of the way it highlights everything here even if I do that yep all highlighted however I did manage to get a little bit of an, a mod uh, working here where you can just say oh I want to remove all of uh, shell 2 or 3 4 5 yeah and it automatically pauses the game as well which is nice but you can you can make it run afterwards if you want the only thing I would like it to do as well would be to hide all of the orbits, because this does nothing for me. You do get this line here that is around the entire thing, but like it's like the, the most distracting thing is all of these sails. But anyway, I digress. I think I want to add more layers to this and maybe get up to about two gigawatts. And then I should probably let the swarm die out on its own. Yeah, well, on the other hand, hmm. Nope. Let's see, how much power do this does this local system? Cancri system, three. Generation capacity, though. Uh, consumption is 2.8-ish. So, okay, so let's aim for 3 gigawatts. But before that, let's continue the research. Each one of these, I think they should be in upgrades, honestly, because they are. Uh, allows you to increase the node latitude limit by 15 degrees. And then uh, that is... If we add a new layer and we just create it and then go in here, it's these. You start with just a single line and then you add one more so you can actually add some sectors or I don't really know what to call them. But yeah, um, plant shell, yeah. Yeah, I don't really know what to call them, honestly. But yeah, you can add some sectors, and then we just got another one up here, I believe. Yes. As for research, it's working kind of good. A little bit slow on the green one, but I do have all of the resources that they need. And I could technically add lack of items. Okay, good. Uh, I think I could add like one or two more floors to this, but honestly, yeah, not really sure if I need to or want to. I also added this buffer here, which is going just fine. One problem with it is, though, that this means it doesn't send any of these gravity matrices over to produce warpers. It's not a problem yet. But it's gonna be eventually. So I'm thinking... I don't really know what I'm thinking, honestly. Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. And then we add, add those back in. We do get 
an increase now. I just don't... Hmm. Because this is putting in just as many as we're getting out, it's probably not a very good buffer. Honestly, unless... Unless... That one fills up. Then maybe. Also because I just started... Uh, Oh, that's true, too. Because I just started researching. I want this to send all of its stuff to the researching tower, which is over here. And it's all already almost out of greens. And it's doing the same thing with red and yellow. Okay. So it wasn't a good plan. In fact, it was pretty darn horrible. So let's nuke it from orbit. Thank you, that helped. I don't, I'm not a fan of this now, all of a sudden. Whenever I'm not researching, I'll just hook these up again. But for now, Just remove them. Okay, so this is going back into the system. It's filling up. That's all good. Put you in there. I really don't want these in my inventory. Oh! Ah, I hate that you can do that. Thankfully, I didn't actually lose anything, but damn if that had been full. And it had been something like deuterium or something else that doesn't stack to 100. I hate that this button is right there. It should be, I don't know, here maybe? Somewhere around here where you don't accidentally click it? But yes, uh, be aware. Huh. Also, we're getting purpling back again. Good. How are you doing? Kind of slow, actually, considering. But that's my fault. Sorry. All right. Uh, so, okay, we're getting more on that. What else do I need to do? I can put in graviton lenses into my ray receivers to increase the max output, which is good, which will actually help me a lot with power, I suspect. Also, what are we up to? Yeah, it dropped. Okay, interesting. Not sure what that's all about. Probably, actually, yeah, probably because these couldn't fire when it was right over here, maybe. I'm just guessing, though, because it goes up and down all the time. So, if I could feed graviton lenses to these guys and the ones on the exact opposite of the planet, that would probably help. Also, I increased the number of these uh, rechargers, or exchangers, sorry. They're kind of slow because they're using up all of the excess energy, which means if I find one of you here, yeah, it's 100%. Mike, 100% uh, of all power is being used. And this should be a stable thing. And it very much isn't. So if I could increase the generation of these, especially since these should be at 100%, yes. Continuous receiving. When they're up here, they never dip below the horizon, so to speak. So if I feed them graviton lenses, they're going to produce 25 megawatts each. That's all good. That's all good. I still can't produce photons, though. That's this. Mass energy storage. Photons can be inverted into antimatter and hydrogen under the effect of supermagnetic field. 
during the research of the Dirac equation in reverse, it discovers... It? Who? What? Discovers that a large number of gamma rays can create an open string in critical vibration state. And they will easily split into protons and antiprotons pairs when they collide mutually. Mastering this technology will improve the ray receiver's efficiency by storing the energy of stars as antimatter. Ray receivers. Let's just get that. Well, why are you stopped? Of course I can't see that. Experimenting is usually detrimental in this game, I think. Reds, really? But you're... Oh, oh, no, no, of course not. Because I deleted this, this forgot its place. Got it. Uh, really upsetting. When one little mistake just cascades. But anyway, yes. With that, I might be able to tell these to actually output. Thank you. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Could probably tell them to output uh, photons in a critical state. Unless I can already do that. Yes, drop down, please. Well, I can feed it. Need valid connection. Okay. Is, wait, is this one of those? It is! Interesting. Does it mean you can feed it too, though? You can. Alright. So if I set something to go down this, like the graviton lenses, would probably be a waste to give them here. Let's pick up some graviton lenses and just test things out. Also, wait, are you still... Why? You shouldn't be asking for refined oil anymore. Now that I have a stable... Nice pause there. Anyway, um, with last episode, I also set up deuterium mining from a gas giant, which also gives me hydrogen mining from a gas giant, which I think means that hydrogen might become a surplus thing that I just have too much of. And why are you so slow now? Is it because I am not using enough refined oil? It probably is, yes. All right, so you have filled up, which means you're full and I'm not producing enough hydrogen, but that's not a problem because I have more than enough deuterium. Got it, got it, that's all good. And you, okay, I'm using up the hydrogen in uh, the proper amounts as well, good. Yeah, um, not probably going to dismantle this entirely eventually, unless I absolutely do need it. But yes, we do need some lenses here. Let's pick some up. Thank you. Warpers aren't really being used, which I do love. I could even do that so it doesn't steal from uh, my research right now. And we're getting enough electromagnetic turbines as well. It's all good. Wait, are you using that? No, you're not. What uses the electromagnetic turbines here? Or is this just remote... Local demand, remote supply? That's odd. But I'm not going to question it. Probably past calm had an idea there. All right. With this, let's see what we can do. Or I could just probably do this. Yes. I forgot to check what it was before. Seven. Fourteen. Okay. So it is. I actually doubles it. Can I then? No, I cannot press proton generation. Maybe I need an output. 
Nope, still can't press it. All right, and you're paused again. Why four? Thank you for the save. And thank you for not crashing as well. Why four art thou stopped? Red again, what? That makes no sense. Supply. Oh, mm. sorry. That was kind of silly of me, if I'm perfectly honest. Again, cascading failures. Just got to wait for this to saturate the belt and then everything should be fine. Unless I miscalculated and it can't go all the way over here, which is very possible. In fact, seems even likely. I want faster belts, honestly. But yes, with that done, with that little test over with, let's see what it's like over here. Uh, let's test you. Oh, wow. Wait, you've dropped? Ah, winter zone. That makes more sense. That means that part of that pole will actually be further in... Uh, on the dark side so to speak and here we are at 100 let's give it 13 12 25 i love it when a good plan comes together now then though with all of these towers quite in the way how do i make this look good Do I just make it go down like this? What happens if I put a couple of these on there? Absolutely nothing. Oh, absolutely everything. Okay. So I can do it like that. It just will look very, very weird. All right, timeless time. All right, learn from my mistake. Don't don't build near fault lines. It just never goes well. But yeah, now well, it should be working. If only I do local demand and nothing else. Or nothing at all could happen. That's also a possibility. Yeah, that didn't take long. 25. Now I... Wait, hold on. Uh, you don't have any. And I can change to photon generation at will. So I needed this. I wish it would actually tell me that in this text. But yeah, now I can actually... Hmm. 25. How much did that actually increase things? 4.11. How much? 5.9. So you're going up again, so that's nice. But yeah, hold on. 
And this entire planet is 1.9, okay. Dyson Sphere status, requested power, 30 out of 30. But this must be over the entire system. I wish they would tell me just how much we're asking for here. Because I do have some... Wait, no. No, I, I, I shouldn't have any other power generation on this planet. Uh, no, it's over here. Yeah, you're all red. Because I stopped the hydrogen from going there. All right, all right, okay. So this entire planet is doing 4.11. And I wish I knew how to get that number right there. Because that was before I gave this, those over there, a uh, few lenses. Which is also something I need to check out. How are we doing on lenses, actually? Zero. N near zero. And green and there. Oh, right, you're demanding it. You're not supplying, you're demanding. Which is both good and bad. How are you doing? You're getting a number. Controlled. This is interesting, though. Yes, thank you for the save. Yes, thank you. So from this, I get... Photons. Um, hold on. Should be in here somewhere as well. Unless I'm absolutely wrong. And it's... No, no, there you are. Critical photon. A uh, critical state photon can be converted into antimatter and hydrogen under the action of a supermagnetic field. Made in ray receivers. Made in particle collider. All right, all right. Let's actually set a few of these to make those. And we want... Yeah, we want a normal tower, I think. Shouldn't be too bad. And here we have antimatter. Where's the other one? What's the... Photons in a critical state should also be here somewhere. No, yes, yes it is. Never where you think it is. Or should be. Let's do that, do that. Give some power. Never mind. Give some power. Good. And, ooh. Ah, that's a problem. If I just set a few over here to do it, then they're going to be not doing anything for the for quite a bit. But if I do something like this... All right, uh, I don't need to set every single one of them to create these though, I can just do that. And see, all right, so it's gonna take quite a while, 2.9 per minute. 2.10 per minute, okay, so it goes up with the continuous, continuous receiving, which is technically possibly a bad thing. But let's set a few of these. Actually, no, not you. You. There we go. We're getting a few in. Good. Not a lot. Which isn't all that... odd, considering this and that. I wonder how fast it is for 
the guys up here. Uh, no, um, wrong side of the planet. You have some, good. Nine, okay. That's, that's nice, uh, power generation. Just go back to that, please. Um, all right. Well, I'm only experimenting with it right now, and like these are kind of broken just because of this continuous receiving thing here. Um, never build these on the equator. Learn from my mistake. Build them on the poles or close to them as close as you can. But also leave yourself some space to make these belts as well. All right, so we got a few of these. And I can't do this in my replicator. I need a particle collider. And I also need the next thing here. So this requires... What? Annihilation constraint sphere is a crucial component for artificial stars to confine the an annihilation reaction within the sphere to obtain stable and controllable energy output. So basically, you put antimatter in it and then you can use it, sort of. To create antimatter fuel rods. Yes, please. When matter and, and antimatter meet, they anni anni annihilate and generate annihilate each other, I think, and generate tremendous energy. So long as the annihilation process is controllable, we can steadily utilize the energy. That's all nice. Scary, but nice. Uh, but yeah, better fuel. However... This creates hydrogen. That's a problem. I can see now that hydrogen is going to be my problem going forward. Because if I'm full on hydrogen, it's going to stop creating uh, antimatter. I'm going to need to dedicate an entire planet to just burning off hydrogen, I think. Eventually. Not quite yet, but soon-ish. You're slowing. No, you're not. Also, just red and green? Really? Well, you need it. All right, okay, fine. And then we have artificial star, which uses everything. And it all you have to do is let the positive and negative proton beams quietly cross the magnetic field from both ends into the constraint sphere. Nice and easy. This scaled down version of the system is known as a minizun. Energy generated from the destruction caused by colliding positive matter and antimatter. So do, do, is it that you give them antimatter fuel rods? Uh, energy type, I am. Thank you, that helped. You have mastered how to constrain the annihilation reaction so that it can produce en uh, energy stably. With this technology, we will make antimatter into fuel rods. Thank you. Assembler and also in the replicator. Energy efficiency, 100%. That nice. 75 megawatts. So basically, I can power this entire planet with just 20 of them. Hold on. Doesn't that mean it's actually more energy beneficial that's not a phrase you should use but okay like the english of it doesn't make sense but okay isn't it more efficient than to just turn all of my ray receivers into creating uh, like protons or photons sorry photons and then turning the photons into antimatter that can then turn into antimatter fuel rods, and I think this probably uses the fuel rods. It would make a lot of sense if it did. 
Let's get it and test and see what it actually says. And then the next one, before the end, actually there is something else. This entire thing here. Accelerant Mark 1, Mark 2, and Mark 3. I don't know. Mark 2 and Mark 2. Okay. I'm not going to question that because alpha. Uh, but yeah. Um, universe Matrix uses all of the other matrices and antimatter. You have unlocked the power generation facility. The mini sun. It can input the tremendous energy of antimatter fuel rods. There. That's what I thought. To the power grid in a stable and controllable way. Hmm. How many do we have now? Oh, 400. Okay, good. But we do need the particle collider. And to set it to do that, all we need is one thing. And it will output hydrogen. Do we have... We can just set this to hydrogen and antimatter. And just kind of build air. Kind of, well, no, accumulators are never really going to be a problem. In fact, I should probably stop making them soon. Because if I get too many of the empty ones, then empty ones will no, no longer be brought in from other systems. And if that happens, the other systems will also never not be able to ask for full ones. It's complicated, but also annoying. Uh, no, I need more particle colliders as well. Should be around here? No. Come on, where are you? Ah, there you are. Yes. Um, 38 should be fine. Let's orient ourselves and go. All right, good, good, good. It's working. Uh, the hydrogen is being taken out. Good. Also hiccups. And we're getting antimatter. Let's put some of those back in there. How are you doing? Two and a half per minute. All right. Now then, what do I need? Is it replicator? Or, yes, it is. That's a lot. Uh, and I do need to make that first. Huh. No. I'd have to do that, which I don't really want to do. Okay, so we're getting antimatter. Actually, wait, what? All oh, right, yes, because nothing else is asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. All right. Well, I was planning on actually doing like a few more layers of this this episode, but it uh, time kind of dragged on for a little bit. But yeah, I feel like oh, okay. It could be a problem now. That I'm not getting enough... Well, I'm not actually using the animator anyway, so it doesn't quite matter. But it does tell me that I need to speed up the generation of uh, the photons. by not degenerating them on the equator. Anyway, yes, um, we have antimatter, which is great, because I kind of want another kind of fuel. However, the hydrogen long-term is going to be a problem. I can't turn all of them into the red spheres, 
which I think is the one that uses hydrogen. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. I kind of can. Another thing I've kind of been dabbling with in my head is to turn excess hydrogen into fuel rods, uh, hydrogen fuel rods, and then just burning them in a thermal plant somewhere. Possibly, actually, that would be kind of hilarious if you could do that. If the production of the hydrogen fuel was powered by hydrogen fuel being burned in thermal plants, so it's a, like a one-to-one -one thing, and you only, only have to put in like initial an initial bit of power through maybe wind generation or solar to get the ball rolling, and then you can just burn the excess hydrogen. It's just difficult to figure out what part is excess hydrogen and what part is actually necessary for building stuff. Also, what is actually hydrogen used for? No, not you, not you, you. Is it just hydrogen fuel rods? That doesn't seem right to me. Just for now, you also need it for deuterium. Deuterium is used for strange matter. And deuterium fuel rods, which I will not be needing anymore. Except no, I will. Because these guys use it. Small carrier rockets. Hmm. All right. All right. Anyway, with all of that confusion over and done with, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer. This has been Dice Sphere Program. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.